Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Alhamdulillah, fine. How are you, sir? I'm all right. How are you doing? Good, Alhamdulillah. Good. Yeah. Uh, I would like to describe about yourself. Uh, my name is Shahab and mm -hmm. I'm 18 years old. Okay. What do you do? I study and I also do my side business. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Mr. Omar? Mr. Omar is a very competent guy. Yeah. So talk about Mr. Omar in detail. Uh, Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar is such, such a great guy. Mm -hmm. He's such an honest guy also. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What else qualities you saw in his personality? He is such a hardworking guy and talented guy. And he is also a sportsman. Mm -hmm. And he is also my teacher for e-commerce. Wow, wow yeah. that's great. Uh, Mr. Omar, that uh, this guy is also very competent. What I think that your student is very dynamic. So, what is the specific qualities which you see in his personality, and how you see his future? Actually, one thing I like in, in this guy, like you know, that he's uh, very hardworking, and plus, like you know, I just saw his quality, like he never ever gave up. He just he's trying to chase something, like you know, like whether his dream or some missions, whatever, like, you know, so he's trying to chase that mm -hmm. until completed that, you know, he followed that and to get that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like that quality. And especially like uh, whenever I call him to go somewhere for sports or any other activity, so he's ready all the time. Mm -hmm. So these are some qualities like I like in this, in this guy. Great. Uh, which one would you like the most? What is your favorite weather like? Weather winter. Winter, you like winter? Yes. Any specific reason behind that? The rain. Rain? Yeah. You fall in love in rain? Yes. Why? Because when it rains, the roads are wet, the trees are wet, mm -hmm. everything are wet, and the cloudy weather, I just like I just love them. Okay. I just like them, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your zodiac sign? Uh, Gemini. Gemini. Wow, that's great. I inspired a lot from the qualities of Gemini because Gemini people are very intelligent, okay. very brave, very dedicated, very hardworking, extraordinary observing. Thank and besides this, in Gemini, it's, it's, it's a stock of humanitarian stock, means you can call it it's a humanity stock. Mm -hmm. So, would like to put a little light on your personality in the light of Gemini's direct sign. Uh, to be honest, sir, uh I don't know much about this uh, sign, like about this uh, star, uh -huh. but like as you said that you know this star is belong to a hardworking or mm -hmm. like passionate guy. So I'm gonna tell you something about me. Like you know, I wake up early in the morning, five mm -hmm. o'clock, and until twelve, that's my daily routine to work all the day mm -hmm. and to make myself busy all the time and other like, any other activities like whether it's sports or business or some. Uh, my some courses projects okay so i have so many things like you know i'm not free like even if i was said i'll tell you like from five o'clock there is some time for me to do yoga mm -hmm. and it's morning time and after that i just start like you know i have some two three business small small so i'm just busy in that mm -hmm. and at night time also i'm just do some sports to make myself healthy and also to be active mm -hmm. for the next day so these are my qualities which I'm practicing all the time, like to busy make myself busy all the time. So that's what I know. I otherwise, no, I don't know anything about this star. Mm -hmm. So he told me that maybe it will be. It is, indeed it is. Thank you. Because I have a knowledge about um, astrology, astronomy as well. Mm -hmm. And I also a great promise, I can read the lines of hands. Okay. Yeah, so I got a lot of ideas, knowledge regarding this kind of the, Hidden, hidden knowledge, you may call it, because most of the people are not going for that because they don't know about that. But it does exist in the society. For example, if you're talking with a person that is there a science existence available in this world, so people will accept it. But if you ask this question from a guy who's living in a very rural and far away area, he will never understand that. Never understand so that. Same like Zoric sign, Harris Cole, these knowledges does exist in society, in this world. But somehow that we are far away from them, so that's why we cannot get it. But which one is the, the dangerous sign? Can you just tell me that which star is dangerous? Like Cancer. Cancer is the most dangerous star. And I say that uh, it's the same like cancer. Like a person who is in cancer disease, mm -hmm. what cancer does? It kills a person internally. Okay. It eats and kills a person. 
seem like the zodiac sign cancer has the picture of cancer in its stock. The sign of cancer has the quality of cancer. It damages your mind, it damages your life, it damages your health, it damages your skills, it damages your all efforts. So that's why I would like to say that all of the historic signs are very great, but Cancerian are the most wisest people ever I have searched in my 20 years experience. Yeah. And which month is that to? It's all about July. July. Okay. It starts in July. Only one zodiac sign, which is good for nothing, that is Cancerian. What's your star? My star is Pisces. Wow, you're so jolly person, yeah? Aren't you? Yeah. And you're also never giving up in any kind of the condition. Yes, that's right. And you always try to spend your time in a good company. Yes. You always like to rooming here and there with your friends and you want to search something, you want to learn something. There's a lot of learning in you, yeah? Yeah. So that's why you have a great characteristics as well. So both stuff are dynamic. That's why you are competent with each other. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. What makes you upset? Current situation of Pakistan. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And so drastic. Yes. Uh, Mr. Omar would like to put a little light on the current situation of Pakistan. How is it going on? Yeah, to be honest, according to my perception, the main part is that injustice. Mm -hmm. So there is no justice for the poor. Poor get poor daily and richer get rich every day. Yeah. So there is no way to get justice for the poor people. If you go to the court or any other police station or whatever, like uh, you will be not able to get justice for the poor people. If you have money, if you have power, so in that case you will be on the top. You can win whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have anything, back support or money or something else, so you will be remain on the road. So these kind of things make me very scared and to be honest, I don't like it. Well said, very well explained. Thank you. Jumping to you, what makes you happy? What's making me happy? Mm -hmm. mm. Nice question. Thank you, but I need the answer also. <laughs> I want the answer of it also. Yeah. I'm doing my own business and that's making me very happy. Yeah, very yeah. good, very good. Uh, Mr. Omar, what about your future ambitions? What do you really want to do in your future? Uh, actually, I want to learn more and more things. Mm -hmm. Okay, nowadays I'm working on uh, in detail, like professional for forex trader. I'm working on it, plus like you know some computer knowledge in advance mm -hmm. for the IT expert. And beside that, like I have some small small websites. So I'm working on it also, mm -hmm. like some. Uh, stores mm -hmm. on my e-commerce so my future you said that ambition so that's my ambition to learn something and to be able to the people wow fantastic quite travelers thank you really appreciate it uh, who is your favorite personality in current time current time I would say Shai Anwar Shai Anwar <coughs> yes. oh my god he's so controversial yeah so still you like him Yes. Why? Because he motivates people. I'm inspired by him. Okay. I uh, would like to tell me something about Mr. Shahid Anwar, his entire history, uh, his mm -hmm. background, from where he does come from. And he's your favorite personality. I hope yes. that you will talk about for one to two, three minutes on yes. his yes. personality. It will be greater that we will also come to know that uh, actually who is he. Yes. Yeah. So he also belonged to my hometown, Swat. Wow. Yeah. And then he migrated to America. Mm -hmm. And he struggled there. He used to work at a restaurant mm -hmm. as a waiter, as a cleaner. After he started his own e-commerce and he struggled a lot. And he got success now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you like him? Yes. Uh, Mr. Omar Betty talked about such a controversial person of this current society. Uh, most of the people they have a lot of allegation on Mr. Shahid Anwar because he's telling so harshly each and everything. He's calling uh, normally the people, oh poor people. 
So he's calling in a very pathetic way to the people. So what do you think? Is it a good scenario? Uh, look, uh, there are some people, they have their own style to motivate the people. Mm. This that guy is a very genius guy, if you'll see that. <clears throat> Sorry. He's trying to wake up the people. Mm. But I know his way is a little bit different and a little bit like kind of awkward. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that, like, if you are getting something from someone, we should ignore his negative qualities. Mm-hmm. And if there is some positive quality, get that, mm-hmm. work on it, mm-hmm. and you will be succeed on that. If you are just finding negative qualities in someone, okay, so you'll be very in a bad way. Mm-hmm. So never ever focus on negative qualities. For example, if I'm sitting here, mm-hmm. you are asking me a question, whatever, like, you know, if there will be some good things, I'm, I'll get that, and mm-hmm. I will work on it. Mm-hmm. And for my future. So that guy, according to my person, he is a genius guy. Mm-hmm. Because nowadays you can see that people, they have degrees. They are, uh, like you can say, uh, lots of people, they are engineer, whatever. But you know, still they are finding a job they are not getting. Mm-hmm. Okay, why? The thing is that he is not focusing on himself. He is not believing himself. Mm-hmm. He can do something. He can start his own business, whether with small money. Mm-hmm. Okay, e-commerce is a very nice platform for everyone. Mm-hmm. So even like a small, uh, the teenager guy, mm-hmm. so he can start by like you know his own store. He can just display some item. He can sell it in a very like you know very easy way. Mm-hmm. So that guy is telling us, wake up, wake up. If you are not finding job, okay. For example, if you have a job, okay, you are earning good money. So you will ignore that person. You will say that, huh? What is this? Mm-hmm. It's a ridiculous guy. Whatever. But you know the thing is that there are in the society people who are not able to get a job, mm-hmm. a well paid job. In that scenario, in that case. So you should focus on his what he's telling us, on that that person. Mm-hmm. He's telling us you have internet, you have laptop, mobile. You can see everyone is holding a mobile, like you know, a good mobile, iPhone, 14, 15, 16, whatever, you know. We are not using it in a proper way. Mm-hmm. If you have a laptop, internet, you have access, you have access to the world. Mm-hmm. So you can search, you can work, you can earn whatever you want. So that guy is not abusing us, mm. he's waking us. Okay, Wake up. very good. Uh, what are the three things, if you get a chance, you would like to inform Mr. Shai Anwar to eliminate from his personality? Uh, for me, I'm not gonna say anything to that person because it's his quality and habits, hobby, whatever. Every person has some negative and good qualities, even me, you, everyone. Okay, so but everyone wants a good selection of the words. Yeah. Because the first thing is how you interact with a person. If you're interacting with people with full of knowledge, with full of justice, with full of respect, this is a famous word, give respect, get respect. So it means this is a reality. But it's, it's going far away from that. And that's what the people are criticizing. I'm not talking about that he's awaking or not awaking, but at least he has to talk positively, politely. What our parents teach us, taught us from our childhood, what our teachers taught us from our childhood, that you have to talk very politely, very sophisticatedly, very decently with your elders, with people, because people are not his enemy. So in our Islamic point of view, religion point of view, religious point of view, we have to talk very politely with the person. So that's why I'm telling you, if you get a chance to tell or eliminate some problems, some deficiencies in his personality, what would be, you will highlight. For example, if you're talking about the Bill Gates, maybe he'll also have some deficiencies in his personality and he wants to change such things. Even I want to change. He wants to change. You want to change. Because we are not angels. We are the human beings. We are the reflection of mystics. That to err is a human and forgiveness is a divine. So in this criteria, I would like to tell if we will just work on our deficiencies, so we will become more competent, we will become more upgraded. So if Shai Anwar is famous, he can be 10 times more famous if you will tell some three things which he has to change. Okay, and first of all, in that case, you know, I will say him that he deliver your message in a very proper way yeah. and with respect way. Okay? Great. So in that case, like if you want to motivate someone, mm-hmm. okay, give respect. Very okay? good. 
But one thing is that if you'll meet him face to face, he's a very nice guy. Okay, so I know him. For example, he's making videos like, you know, uh, in that case, he's just a little bit awkward and just, you know, recording his video. But I'm gonna say that, you know, he's using abusive language all the time. Mm -hmm. So he should be restrained from it. Wow, amazing, amazing. I really appreciate it here, the, these uh, advices. Uh, are you agree with him? Yes. <clears throat> How much? 100%. Yeah. Wow. Of okay. What are you looking forward? I'm looking forward for marriage. Wow, that's good. Yeah. So why are you in a hurry? Because I'm well stable. That's good, that's perfect. Yeah. And which life partner do you really want for yourself? You should be innocent, loyal, and religious. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Good selection. Yeah. And may God give you a good life partner. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Omar, if a person is in frustration, tension, anxiety, what he's supposed to do? Uh, it's a nice question. It's a very deep mm -hmm. question. If you say that, there are lots of ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, if you have some depression or something, so it's depending on you mm -hmm. whether you want to go in some good company of your friends, okay, and just make yourself busy with them, play some games, whatever, you know, just change your mind. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, the only thing I believe that, you know, go to Masjid and pray mm -hmm. to Allah and just convert your mind, do what, mm -hmm. divert your mind to Allah and just ask Him in prayers and read the Quran. Here's the question. The Lord by Surah worship, they laugh in five times per energy. They're also reciting the Holy Book, Holy Quran. But still they are in tension, frustration, anxiety, depression. What's the reason behind that? Because they are not doing by their heart. If you yeah, focus, yeah fully on your whatever you are doing on that case for example if you are reading Quran so you should be concentrated for like 100 percent on that Quran what you are reading and translate it for yourself what you are reading and what you are getting from that even Quran or some other things like you know and if you are doing yoga what is yoga it's a fully concentration mm. so it's mean that whatever you want it should be with your mind fully concentrate. For example, if you are doing exercise like belly exercise, okay, stomach exercise. So if you are thinking your mind is someone somewhere else and you are just doing crunches here, it's, it will not work 100%. Mm -hmm. If you are focusing on your stomach and doing crunches, so it will give you fully like, you know, the uh, efforts to your stomach. Mr. Omar, just tell me that uh, what is the best way to make yourself the most happiest person on planet? According to my perception, if you want to be happy in your life, the first thing, like whatever you choose for yourself, try to choose that for others. Mm -hmm. If there is something good for you, choose that also for others. Try to do good deeds. Mm -hmm. Try to help poor people. Mm -hmm. Perform your five-time prayers. Uh, now we're jumping towards uh, some more questions. Uh, what about your food habits? Uh, which kind of the food you really like and which time you eat normally? Uh, I love all kind of foods except rice. You said rice? Yeah. Oh my god. In a week I just take only one day. Uh -huh. That's it. Other than that I can just take any, anything else. Okay. But, and especially sweets. I don't like sweets. Mm -hmm. That's also like in a week one time. Okay. What do you like in beverages? Cold coffee and mango milkshake. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what else do you like besides this? Do you like soft drinks? Not much. Okay. Yeah. So Omar, what's your favorite beverage by the way? Orange juice without sugar mm -hmm. plus uh, coffee, black coffee without sugar at morning time with lemon. Mm -hmm. That's good for health. Define yourself in one word. Hard working. Hard working. Yeah. Define his personality in one word. Intelligent. Yeah, that's great. As you see this current situation of this world, what basically we need for the betterment of this entire world and universe? Equality and justice. Equality and, and justice. justice. Yeah. What is justice for you? Equal rules and regulation for everyone. Wow, amazing. Do you agree with him? Yes. Why do you agree with him? Yeah, because he answered very well. Okay. Is he a smart guy? Yes, definitely. Okay. Is he a dull guy? No. 
Not at all. Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. My next question is this, that what is the identification of a human being? Identification of a human being, it should be a good manners. Okay. How to eliminate the hatred? Through love. Oh. What's love, my dear? Love is everything. Love is life. Love is life. What's life? Life is love. Life is love. What's love in life? Uh, both are interconnected. Well said. What is the frustration level of different human beings and why they are frustrated? Some people are depressed, they are having bad time, so they get angry. And some people are happy, some people are living good life, mm -hmm. so they don't get uh, aggressive and they don't get angry that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to talk that it depends on the circumstances? Yes. Current circumstances are going so bad for the poor people. So how to sort it out? Uh, I think government should take responsibility as mother of the nation. Wow, amazing. Who is the father of the nation? I'm talking about Pakistan. Uh, who is the mother of the nation? Of Pakistan. Wow. Uh, do you impress from these both personalities, Mr. Khalid Yazan and Fatma Jinnah? Two hundred percent. And what do you like so much? Because just because of him, we are like you know, we got freedom, mm -hmm. and we learn many things. Like uh, those who are educated, mm -hmm. they brought us everything like education, freedom, whatever you want. So we have that, you know, and we got that very easy. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. We just love him. And he is the founder of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Good. Currently, who is your favorite politician and why? Imran Khan. Why? He's an honest guy. Good. Yeah. And do you like politics? Yeah. Why? Reason? Uh, before I was not interesting, to be honest. Like, you know, since I saw Mr. Khan, Iman Khan, so he taught us many things. What is uh, like politics? We learned that. Even we didn't study about politics, but you know, that guy, in every speech, he was telling us this is this is this is bad blah blah like that it's just a politics so we learn by his speech mm -hmm. everything in politics what's happening now so mm -hmm. whether if one uh like a person who is telling us before it's happening in ancient time that you know he was coming to our area i will change that for you i will change this road for you so that time we were not able to judge that person wow. but to be honest now for example if someone is talking mm -hmm. so everyone understand that he is telling lie or truth. So this all credit goes to Mr. Khan, Imran Khan. So he's the only one person he taught us, he, he awaked us. <coughs> and everything, what is happening now? Well, just because of that. Amazing. And he struggled a lot for us. Mm -hmm. Do you want to continue further? Yes. Are you enjoying? Yes. Why are you enjoying so much this session? Uh, because I'm getting knowledge. Very good. Yeah. And uh, we'd like to tell you the five points to which you can change your personality. You have to count on your fingertips. Number one, love. Mm -hmm. Justice. Wow. Equality. Mm -hmm. Never give up. Mm -hmm. And respect. Amazing. Contrast to this, what are the five things which we have to eliminate or take out from our personality, from all of us? Okay, aggressive things, laziness, disrespect, and control, anger. Amazing, outstanding. You both guys are so dynamic. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Is there any kind of the message you want to deliver for us for the world's people? Never give up on your dream. Very good. And finally, I would like to end this conversation by the beautiful quotation by your side for the rest of the world's people, for your loved ones. What do you want to say? My message to the people, to the nation, uh, first of all, respect everybody in your society mm -hmm. and respect your parents. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Struggle hard, work hard, and one day you will be succeeding in that. Mm -hmm. Always focus on yourself. Don't focus on other work. Mm -hmm. Never ever give up and always try to do something mm -hmm. by your own. Great, amazing. It was a great session with you guys. Before ending, I wish you very best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Yeah.